liberal viewer present. So President Barack Obama gave a great speech this week to a joint session of Congress on health care reform, laying out a roadmap for legislative compromise based on reasonable goals that will be good for the American people. But some in the audience were apparently beyond reason, as evident in one of the most talked about incidents from the speech when South Carolina Republican Congressman Joe Wilson shouted out, you lie, during the part of the speech you can see here. There are also those who claim that our reform efforts would ensure illegal immigrants. This, too, is false. The reforms, the reforms I'm proposing would not apply to those who are here illegal. It's not true. Hmm, now, reasonable people in both parties rejected that Republican heckling, but I was surprised to see over on Fox News the amount of time spent actually trying to give intellectual support to the outburst, most surprisingly coming from Judge Andrew Napolitano, Fox News' senior judicial analyst whose views I've actually praised in the past because he's kind of a libertarian conservative and I'm a libertarian liberal, but this week he actually tried to argue that President Obama knew what he was saying wasn't true, as you can see in this clip. The president knows that the federal law requires that whatever health care is made available must be made available to citizen and non-citizen alike and under non-citizen to lawful resident and illegal resident alike. Now, not only does Judge Napolitano not explain how he knows what President Obama knows, but he also misstates the federal law because the Personal Responsibility and Work Opportunity Reconciliation Act of 1996, which was that big welfare reform law passed by the Republican Congress and signed by President Clinton, includes Title VIII, Section 1611 of the U.S. Code, which specifically excludes illegal and even temporary immigrants from receiving federal benefits. And you need to remember that federal law when I finish refuting Judge Napolitano's argument after he finishes his point here. We know this because in the state of California, they recently enacted a proposition. That's a vote in November. That's not a law by the legislature. That's a vote by the people which sought to bar all social services to illegal aliens and two federal courts threw it out and the Supreme Court decided not to hear it. So it is clear that it is the law of but, the but land. Health now that last part about it being clear that it's the law of the land because the Supreme Court decided not to hear the case is completely disingenuous because the Supreme Court only decides to hear about a hundred cases a year and makes no comment on whether the others are well decided or not. But more importantly, Judge Napolitano is mischaracterizing the reason the federal court struck down California's Proposition 187 denying social services to illegal immigrants, which was not because of an equal protection problem, but because of federal preemption, meaning the court said that the Constitution gives the power to control immigration to the federal government and not the states, so California couldn't deny benefits to non-citizens because it's a federal decision. I know all this because earlier this year, when California budget problems started hitting the local governments really hard, Sacramento County, where I live, decided to stop giving non-emergency medical services to illegal immigrants, and I spent time researching the law in this area for a letter in opposition from my local ACLU chapter that you can find at aclusac.org slash node slash 149. And in that letter, though I wish I could have made the argument Judge Napolitano made, we had to admit that the leading case from the federal courts on this issue was out of Colorado in 2006, in which the court found that the federal authorization in the Welfare Reform Act of 1996 allowed the state of Colorado to deny medical benefits to illegal aliens. The Supreme Court did not review that case, which leaves the law unclear nationwide, but that didn't stop Judge Napolitano from repeatedly telling his Fox News viewers that excluding illegal immigrants from health care reform would be against the Constitution and that President Obama knows it, as you can see again in this clip. It would be against the Constitution if Obamacare became law and, only, and it only applied to citizens. The courts would force the federal government to make it available to non-citizens alike. And the president, who once lectured at the University of Chicago Law School, must know that this is the law. So huh. And there it is again, the bald assertion of what President Obama must know, even though it's based on a misstatement of the law, which is just dishonest, I think. But I want to know what you think. How can Fox News' senior judicial analyst be so sure that excluding illegal immigrants from health benefits would be struck down as unconstitutional when federal law has allowed such exclusions for over a decade and such exclusions have been implemented in Colorado, California, and other states without a successful legal challenge? And on the bigger question that I would even ask President Obama if I could, regardless of the constitutional question, does it really make sense to exclude from health coverage a significant part of the population leaving them as a breeding ground for contagious diseases and letting their illnesses worsen until more expensive emergency room treatment is needed? I, YouTube, you decide.